Richard Southern joins us to chat about a few of the day's more interesting stories, including a small dog who is helping humans decide how to go about their day. This is I love this dog, Richard. <laughs> I, I didn't know anything about it, but Erica earlier was like, oh, you're talking about Noodle today. I'm yeah. so excited. <laughs> I'm out of the loop because, you know, millions of people watch this dog uh, every day to find out uh, how to go about their day, Erica. This is Noodle, 13-year-old pug. His owner wakes up Noodle every day on TikTok. He sits the dog upright to see if the dog can stand on its own. If Noodle stands, it's a so-called bones day, meaning everyone should get out of bed, make the most of the day. If Noodle flops over, though, it's a no bones day, which the owner says is you know, more of a day for uh, introspective uh, Work for self care day, maybe. You yeah. Get, yeah, exactly. You don't want to get out of bed. More than four million people look to this dog every day to see what they should do. By the way, uh, it, it's a Bones Day. Noodles stood okay. up today, Eric. It does feel like a Bones Day today. I've had a I've had a productive day so far, and I don't know. He actually opened up a you know Noodles owner a merch store online, and so I imagine maybe you know this holiday season a lot of people are going to be getting no Bones Day sweaters and pillows and blankets. You kind of love the <laughs> entrepreneurial spirit of some of these uh, pet owners on, on Instagram and whatnot. They're yeah. making a lot of money you these gotta days. You've got to seize the moment when these things happen, right? 100%. Uh, um, NASA is weighing in on the subject of UFOs and the possibility of alien life. Yeah, they're looking about how they would ever announce that should the day ever come. I mean, it was just on Monday you and I were talking about how the, the NASA administrator weighed in on these videos we're looking here. You can see us talking about that, by the way, on uh, citynews.ca, big uh, video we had on Monday. But NASA scientists now say they want the world to agree on a productive way to announce any potential discovery of alien life, you know, be it from UFOs or perhaps more likely be it uh, microbial life that they might find on Mars or elsewhere. NASA's chief scientist says any announcement would obviously be very hotly watched and it could be taken the wrong way. And so NASA says they want the world to agree on objective standards for what would would be the evidence for life elsewhere and the best practices for how that would be communicated to us humans here on Earth. And they suggest maybe a, a scale of to explain, uh, you know, how likely it is that they found life. You know, with the rover set to send samples back to Earth, Erica, I guess it's something we should be thinking about. Yeah, right? absolutely. And I can't wait to see what we find there or what NASA finds with that. And uh, finally, could you survive solely on amusement park food? Oh, boy. One man actually managed to do that and save some money along the way. Obviously, I could. There's no debate about that. I don't know about you, Erica, but a California man, Dylan, uh, his name is, shelled out 150 bucks and ate every meal at a Six Flags amusement park out there in California. They sell a, a pass for 150 bucks where you can go into the park every day, and it includes two meals. Didn't this guy eat every single meal in there? He said he didn't go to the grocery store once for an entire year. Yes, there's a lot of, you know, not so good food like burgers and pizza, but he says he found tri-tip sandwiches, vegan options like black bean burgers and didn't he save himself thousands paid off his student loan Eric imagine that very uh, very creative mind but I hope you went to see a doctor make sure everything's okay after eating amusement park food for I so might have put on a few pounds after that experiment <laughs> okay thanks for joining us Richard we'll see you tomorrow see you tomorrow